Yesterday's video's comment section got a little bit spicy, so I'm gonna have to dial it back a little bit and be a little bit more tame. So today's video is just gonna be about the alphabet, the ABCs, the XYZs, okay? And we're gonna go through this with the band UK Subs. If you're familiar with the UK Subs, they put out a whole bunch of records in alphabetical order. So they're one of the only bands that I can think of that chronological and alphabetical are the same order, and that's crazy. And this video is just gonna be about running through their alphabet. Maybe if you're new to this country and you need to learn what letter comes after the, another letter, this is gonna be the video for you. Hey ladies, how's it going? My name's Dan Frampton and we're gonna go through this rabbit hole starting in 1979 with another kind of blues. So the UK subs are right there at the beginning point of punk rock pretty much. And to have this idea to put out your records in, in the order of the alphabet is kind of crazy because you're like, we gotta at least do this 26 times times in order to like complete the alphabet and that's a pretty ambitious undertaking. So they put out all these live recordings and all these compilations and not all of them are actually in this like alphabet sequence. So that's right, they put out more than 26 records. It took them like 37 years to complete this thing. So you know they're gonna be going year after year after year. So after 1979, after the letter A comes the letter B. In 1980, they drop Brand New Age. They're really proving to be prominent movers and shakers in the punk scene, cause in that very same year, they put out a live record following this alphabet sequence called Crash Course. And D is for Diminished Responsibility, their next full length record. I love the album cover on this thing. They're not phoning it in. Everything is very like stylistic and distinct. You gotta love it. Because I know if I was doing this whole alphabet thing, I'd be just churning this shit out. But they're doing a pretty good job spacing this thing from project to project. So now we're gonna go in 1982 and they're gonna drop the record Endangered Species. Now I would love to say that I listened to all these records from beginning to end, but I would be lying to you. I tasted them from here and there. I got a, a good, a sense of their like vibe or whatever, but there's just no way I listen to all this music. In 1993, Flood of Lies. This album cover is horrific. This thing just gives me a nightmare while being awake. It's hard to look at, and then when you start to see what's actually there, you wish that, that it was still hard to look at. You wish you couldn't make it out. It's disgusting. I don't want to go through this and describe it visually. It's right there. T take that in. Drink that thing in. <laughs> God damn, UK subs, you're really out here being a punk band, aren't you? And the very next year, they don't have a whole bad of new music yet so they're doing a live record and they're gonna throw this into the ABC thing and this thing is called gross out and you gotta love this album cover it has just like pictures photographs from what I would imagine is tour just plastered all over here and I love this green and pink color scheme Oh, I love the USA font. This thing just screams 1980s punk band to me. I love it. But 1985, year of our Lord, they keep that Volkswagen Beetle rolling with their record, Huntington Beach. And by the time we get to the letter I, we've already had 10 years of UK subs, okay? Because it's in this year, they put out their 10th anniversary record called In Action. It's a little compilation. And then in 1986, they're back to releasing music again on this record called Japan Today. And I'm not sure how I feel about this album cover. It's kind of ugly, it's kind of tacky. Uh, I don't know, I don't know how racist it is, but it's giving me not the best vibes in the world. But we're gonna be moving on here to the, the letter K, and it's Killing Time, the record Killing Time. A little bit of a reunion album. You know, they've gone through members, they've been around forever. There's a whole story about the UK subs, and it's not this video, we're just doing the alphabet. So in 1989, they're gonna be chilling out. They don't have a whole batch of new music. There's not gonna be a new LP, there's gonna be a live in Paris. And here we're getting a little lazy with how we're titling things. Here we're getting a little lazy with the album cover. This album cover is nothing to write home about. And Live in Paris, not really the, the greatest album name for a live record or whatever. You've had Crash Course in the past, Gross Out, great names for live records. All right, so now we're rolling into the third decade of the UK subs being around. They were kicking it in the 70s. 
they were kicking it in the 80s, and now they're bringing it in to the gnarly 90s with Mad Cow Fever in 1991. I love this album cover. Nothing screams more 1993 than normal service resumed. <laughs> Look at this thing, this is wild. In 1996, we get Occupied, and I'm not sure how I feel about this album cover. It's kind of gnarly, you know, I like the colors, but then it also looks like it was just made in MS Paint really quick. Um, so yeah, it's equal parts good and bad. 97 brings us the Peel Sessions. Now I think this is a pretty cool way to tie in like when and where something was made to, to correlate it with the whole alphabet thing, okay? Peel Sessions were recorded apparently in 1978, 1979, so fucking 20 years later you can put that out as part of your alphabet series. So rad. I get a kick out of these next two entries. We got Quintessentials over here, and then followed by that, the exact same album cover, but with a sepia tone called Riot. <laughs> you gotta love it. They're getting a little lazy, I gotta admit, with their album cover. But I mean, like I said, I probably would be too, especially after 30 years of doing this shit. Yeah, I'd be getting a little tired of it. Like, are we really still just telling the alphabet? Are we really just reciting these ABCs for fucking 30 years so far? Yeah, we gotta. We've, we're, th we're this far in. So S is for self-destruct. T is for time warp. U is for universal. And I don't know if this really looks like a UK song album cover. It looks more like a Rage Against the Machine type vibe, but what, what do I know? V is for Violent State, and this is an album cover that I kind of dig. You got these like, uh, I don't know, SWAT guards, I guess, with the big fucking shields. They're riot cops. I don't know why when I was recording I couldn't think of the word riot cop. These things are riot cops. Or whatever, but on the shields are the band members. Pretty cool. It's also saying like, the cops are violent. This band is what the cops use to be violent. W is for work in progress, which is a great name for a finished record. <laughs> work in progress. Gotta love to see it. We got this sugar skull over here looking like a rockabilly just doing his little thing with the electricity popping out of his head. And this, I think, is the most clever use of the alphabet thing. So we're at the letter X. What are we gonna call our record uh, that starts with the letter X? Easy. How about Roman numeral XX15 or whatever? I think this means 24, which would make sense because it is the 24th letter and it is the 24th part of the ABCs over here. Very nice. I like how they tied it all in. You got like this really Holy Spirit looking ass motherfucker with the halo and the flute are going on here. Pretty cute. She looks like she gave birth to this flute. That's interesting. Next letter, please. The next letter is Y. And we get this really comic book ass looking fucking cover here. I like the way this thing looks. It's got like this UK subs fighter jet, which is interesting that they used a jet and not a sub. But again, what do I know? And then in this little blurb up here, the name of the record is called Yellow Leader. So it says, Yellow Leader, this is base calling. You missed the target and hit a friendly. Mission not accomplished. Keep going, Yellow Leader. Keep going! So not only did you just kill your friend, you gotta, you gotta keep going and, and kill the person that was the target initially. And that brings us to the final letter of the alphabet. If you're in the Queen's lands, okay? If you're in like, I don't know, Australia or uh, Britain, like uh, England or wherever, or over here in Canada, you know, you might be saying the letter Z. But down there in the United States, they don't even know what a Z is. If you say Z, they're like, what, what is, what's a Z? Well, a Z is a Z, a Z is a Z. And Z brings us over here to Zizo, or Zizo, or Zizo. Which depicted on here is, a, is like a splinter cell type Tom Clancy character with eye testing machinery attached to his face. All right, chill, cool, 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 cool. And that is the ABCs. Now I know how to say the ABCs. Next time, won't you sing along with me? I hope you learned a thing or two from this video. If you did, please share it with someone else that could learn some ABCs. I do think it's pretty impressive that the UK subs committed to this bit from 1979 all the way until 2016. And if my math is correct, that's 37 years. So no drama in the comment section today. No fighting, everything is chill. I only made one really passing joke, one little remark, and it just sent people into a tizzy. People are all like, you used to make great shit, and now you don't make great shit, and I'm out of here, pal. There's none of your stuff that I'm listening to anymore, because you're way off base with this take. And it wasn't <laughs> even a take. I was just framing a joke, okay? And all my videos are just long 
long take jokes if you're not catching on to that whole thing right now. And if you're taking this shit seriously, goddamn, I can't help you. I just did a video about the ABCs for Christ's sake. So if you're right wing, if you're left wing, if you're somewhere in the middle, if you're a libertarian, if you're on the far left, if you're on the far right, I couldn't care less. What I want you to do is just like, comment, and subscribe, ring the bell if you're cool as hell, and until my next upload, how's about you watch another upload? <laughs>